These are the three most important skills that every entrepreneur must develop. And if you don't have uh, one of these three skills, then your business is going to suffer. Whether you're a coach, a speaker, or a trainer, and uh, you're in business, maybe you've been in business for the first time, maybe you've been in business for a while, but these are the top three skills that every, every, every entrepreneur must develop. Uh, hi, my name is Simone Vincenzi. I'm the co-founder of GTEx. We turn experts into authorities, and in particular, we get our clients to increase their monthly recurring revenues, become visible, and build a community around their business. Uh, now, let's get started with these uh, three skills. Number one is marketing. Number one is marketing skills. Is the ability to always get someone interested in your product, services, courses, coaching, mentoring, whatever it is that you have to offer, online training, whatever is that. And the reason why I say that is the first one being the most important is because when you have, uh, when you know always how to attract the right people, how to build your audiences or tap into new audiences, how to create a message that gets people to, to stop and say, hey, this is for me, then this is the first step of business done. Because you're, you can have the best offer, you can have the best team, you can have uh, literally, the, you can be the best at what you do. But if people cannot see it and people don't know it, then they're going to buy from someone else that is better at expressing how good they are and the results in particular that they can expect by working with them. So if marketing is a bit choppy for you, that's not your biggest skill, then invest time, invest money to actually understand it. Now you might be thinking, but marketing is not my zone of genius. Like I'm not, I'm maybe more someone like in the back end. Uh, I like supporting, marketing is not my strong suit. Still understand marketing. Because even if you're going to hire someone else to do marketing for you, at least you can see if they're doing things in the right way. Because there are so many people that say that they are great at marketing because they read a couple of books, but actually they don't really understand. And there uh, are plenty of people that I know in my network, myself included, just because of ignorance, I've hired the wrong person. So don't be ignorant in marketing. It's a crucial part of your business and invest in the skills. So that's number one. Number two is actually sales. Now, we got the ability to get attract people, to get people to be interested, but that doesn't mean that if they're interested, they're actually going to buy. So the next skill to develop is the ability to convert. That's my favorite skill. And that's the one that I'm focused on the most because it's directly linked to monetization, revenue generation. If you don't know how to sell, it's always going to be difficult to keep your business afloat because maybe you're only relying on referrals and people are coming from referrals, it's very easy to sell to them. <laughs> but if you're not able to sell to someone that maybe you meet for the first time and getting them interested and getting them to make a commitment, then uh, your business um, can have uh, might have quite a lot of problems, in particular in the cash department, <laughs> which means the oxygen of the business. So invest in your sales skills. I remember when I started out, I took a lot of sales courses. I do a lot of sales role-playing with other people because I needed to improve my sales skills. I was really bad at it. And that's why also in a lot of our programs that we do, we actually create a space for people to sell to each other because selling is not coming something that, of course, you learn from a book and you can learn frameworks but the confidence that comes with selling, then the confidence to express, to have during the sales process, it only comes with experience. And that's why practice as much as possible, learn how to create a great sales conversation. I'm not a big believer and fan of scripts, like when you have to repeat word by word. I'm not a big fan of that. I know there are some people that use them, personally not for me, but I'm a big fan of frameworks. Because in sales, you want to be in charge of, in control of the conversation at every single point. You gotta, you gotta be able to lead the client in terms of making that decision. Whether it's a yes or a no decision, the ability to go through the process and keep having an organic conversation that feels like it's flowing, but at the same time, you know at which point you are in the sales conversation. It is one of the most incredible skills that you can build and develop. So, first. Get the skills of attract people. 
Then second, get the skills to turn those people that you attract into customer, into paying clients. And then the third skill, which is the most important of all, of all of them, and I'm still learning this one, <laughs> and I'm still learning, is patience. It's patience. Now I know you might be saying, yes, I've heard this before from Gary V. or, oh my God, I wish you could do, give me something more practical. But actually, business is a marathon. It's not a sprint. There are moments in business that will feel like a sprint where you're going fast, you're building things, but the longevity of the business is a marathon. GTEx, we've been running GTEx for now 10 years. And every year we added another piece. Every year I was becoming better. And of course, uh, compared to what I would love to be, I'm not even there yet. But of course, the goalpost is always moving. And uh, I remember in particular the beginning, the frustration was I'm not getting the results that I want. The finances that I want are not there. I'm not hitting my goals. Without realizing that actually all your goals, uh, financial goals, team goals, business goals, they are direct results of the actions that you take. And honestly, we have no control over the results that we are taking, uh, over the results that we are going to get. We only have control over the actions that we are taking. It is easy to understand. I'm sure you have heard it thousands of times by now. But internalizing it and just feel comfortable when uh, a launch doesn't work or feel comfortable where um, now you thought that in a month a marketing campaign was going to be done and now it takes five months. And uh, uh, comfortable when... Uh, uh, you are not clear about your business and you're in this limbo land really struggling to make decisions. These are part of patience. This is how patience manifests. And having the confidence that by taking the correct actions over and over again, by improving, by learning, by becoming better, by improving your skills, investing in yourself, investing in others around you, then the results are just going to be are just going to happen. <laughs> like it's mathematical that something positive is going to come out of this. So instead of focusing on the micro, in particular when talking about results, I'm now focusing more on the macro. Because you might have three months in a row that are not going in the way that you want. I definitely have. But then you might have one month that actually makes more than everything else that you have planned and is that month a fluke or is that month a result of every single other thing that you've done, but you have been patient with it and now you've seen how things actually in the macro, they connect together. So patience is the number one skill because as long as you invest in yourself, if you improve what you're doing, you make things better, you learn sales, you learn marketing, you're patient with it, you keep executing, then, <laughs> you know, it's like... Just gonna be a matter of time until something comes up. And that's the kind of spirit that I would love you to have. That's the kind of spirit that helps me to put things in perspective in these moments where I'm a bit frenetic and frantic or I'm not happy about the results that I got. So three skills that is important, crucial that every entrepreneur must master is marketing first, sales second, and patience third. I'm curious to hear about what's your list of skills. Let me know in the comments. Um, I, I want to know, let me know, what are the skills that, in your opinion, the top three in order that every entrepreneur must master? Let's get started in this way, and I'm curious. Now, before we wrap up this show, a couple of things. Uh, number one, if you haven't subscribed on our podcast or YouTube, make sure you subscribe right now so you don't miss any other episode. If you f want, if you, this is relevant to someone that you know, just share it with at least one person. It will definitely make my day. And then check in the show notes. You have the, some of the resources that we have prepared for you, like the webinar conversion kit, which is going to be an incredible tool to help you create high converting presentations in less than three hours. So if you want to use webinars to attract clients, maybe you're using them before, but not with great success, or you never use them and you want to get it done in the right way, then the webinar conversion kit is for you. So check it out in the show notes. I've said what I had to say. It's been great to spend some time together. And remember, until next time, together we grow exponentially. Ciao.